This summer, he hopes to be the first man to win gold in both the 200 and 400 in the same Olympics. If he succeeds, will he join the all-time greats in track and field? Michael Johnson, the man who would be king. <laughs> out there competing for that that coveted spot of world's greatest track and field athlete or the hottest track and field athlete or the star of track and field <laughs> mm -hmm. i enjoy doing things that haven't been done before making history olympic history um and that's what that's what my goal is for this year. And once I set a goal for myself, and I do that every year, that's the only motivation I need. Going into an Olympic Games in my own country, in my own backyard, and just playing all of the talents that I have, and not having to go in and, and make that dreaded decision of do I run the 200 or do I run the 400, and then having to sit in the stands and watch whichever one I chose not to run and, and, and go through the agony of watching that race thinking I could win that race. Michael Johnson sporting a brand new pair of shoes. And I'll tell you, they're aerodynamic <laughs> in the extreme. Last time I saw shoes like that was in the Wizard of Oz. He could run in the dark and we'd be able to spot him, of course, with that distinctive upright running style you could anyway, plus the fact he's usually in front. Here are the lane assignments in this opening heat in the men's 400 meters. The top four automatically advance to the second round tomorrow, and Michael Johnson is in lane one. Not a great lane for him, but how about the guy in lane two? 17-year-old Obi Moore just finished his junior year at Muir High School in Pasadena, California. A bold young man, Tom. He said back in February that he was going to run 43 flat in Atlanta, win the gold medal. <laughs> well, that got Michael Johnson going. He said 43 flat won't be fast enough. And he winds up right next to the great one. seven trials, six trials across both the 400 meters and 200 meters. He says he wants to run as easily as possible, 30% of max, if he can get away with it. He's won 52 straight finals in the 400, has never competed in an Olympic 400, and hoping to take the first steps here toward that historic double this summer. And as they approach the home straightaway, Michael Johnson on cruise control down in lane one. Sneaks a peek to his right. Remember, the top four will advance to the second round. And Obi Moore in lane two is struggling as Michael Johnson comes to the line, eased up to advance to the second round in the men's 400 tomorrow. Let's put that in perspective. 44.33 is the fastest time in the world this year. Michael Johnson just jogged a 44.77. And right now, our man, Chris, is with the man, Michael Johnson. Well, Michael, the least you could do is uh, breathe a little bit hard after running 400 meters. <laughs> oh, good. Just ready to get started. <laughs> Michael, are you going to try and use this competition to intimidate your competition around the world? That's the objective, I think. Uh, four and a half the next race, uh, 90 days in trip. World record. I'm going to give it everything I got. Uh, not go out. I run the run the best race I can. That's what I'm going to do in the finals. Nice race, nice shoes. Congratulations. Right. Tom? All right, Chris, thank you very much. Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson getting, uh, getting it done in the first heat. It would have been the upset of the trials had he not advanced to the next round.